is good YouTube, it's your boy Coast again, and uh, I meant to make this video uh, last week before, you know, life caught up to me, but um, it hasn't been a great <laughs> series of weeks for Disney uh, in general and Disney Star Wars, so um, I figured that we'd take a look into exactly what's been going on. There's been fights at Disneyland. There's been <laughs> just absolute madness happening uh, at the the place that's supposed to, to be for kids, the place where kids' dreams can come true. I, I don't know, know what's, what Disney's been doing um, or what's gotten people so, so upset at Disneyland or whatever. Uh, People aren't really showing up to Galaxy's Edge. Uh, dang, yo. And, and, and here I thought it was going to be a massive success. Uh, I'm, man, um, you know, the, the, these shills really had me convinced that, that Star Wars, uh, that Disney did not kill Star Wars. Who knew? Uh, but anyway, um, let, let's just look at a couple couple of uh, sources. Well, I'm a little late to the party to <laughs> jump on this, but it, it's still it's still pretty funny to me <laughs> to see this happening. Um, dang, yo. I, I'm, I mean, I was watching that fight, uh, that video of, the of, of that they captured of the fight in, happening in Disneyland and, and Disney World or whichever one it was. And it, it was just next level ignorance <laughs> um and I, I guess that can be blamed more on the people but it's bad pr for disney bro so um anyway let's have a look so shout out to my boy itchy baka if you haven't checked out his wordpress he, he puts in that that research work <laughs> so uh Galaxy's Edge as empty as a showing of Solo on opening day. <laughs> now, this is hilarious. I literally watched Solo, a Star Wars story, <laughs> Solo. <laughs> oh, my God. Coming to a theme park near you. <laughs> Remember a few days back, the legacy media was pestering us with breathless headlines like this. Disneyland's Star Wars Galaxy's Edge crowds reach capacity within an hour on opening day. As to be expected, reality is settling is setting in down at SJW Land. SC Reviews has a story in Slash Film. Star Wars Galaxy's Edge in trouble? Oh my. <laughs> You can walk right into Star Wars Galaxy's Edge right now in Disneyland without a problem. On the first week, the land has been open to the public without reservations. Disney and Disney California Adventure both seem to be empty. Standby lines for some of the most popular rides in the park are the lowest I've ever seen. This is the middle of the summer when Disneyland Resort is usually packed to capacity. What is going on here? Hmm. Well, it would seem that Disney is getting... Well, a little bit of a comeuppance, but who knows? And sorry if you can't really hear the uh, the voice over this AC. I mean, I have the AC running in the background because it's hot as hell over here. But, um, <clears throat> yeah, I'll probably flip through flip through this some of the most popular rides in the parks are the lowest I've ever seen this is the middle of summer when Disneyland Resort is usually packed to capacity what is going on here I'm sure they're worried at uh, Disney HQ hopefully they're blaming Captain Kevin <laughs> <laughs> But this does bring up a very interesting question. Why is Galaxy's Edge not busy? Disney was fearing the worst when it came to crowd expectations for stuff. <laughs> so yeah, I, I hope they blame Kathleen Kennedy too. They, they should have fired her. They should have fired her. 
why is this bitch still up here? Like, why is she still here? Like, get lost. We don't like you. God, man. And and I hope, I hope, for after what they did to Star Wars, I hope it flops even harder. Like, I really do. After all the shit that Kathleen Kennedy has, has done to Star Wars uh, and her crew, this forces female identitarian nonsense. I, I, I really hope it flops even harder. Because I was watching this video and it's it's not quite a ghost town, but it's just like people are just passively walking through. It's not like there doesn't seem to be much interest in anything. As of right now, it's not really horrible to try to get in on this. That is crazy because this place was so busy during reservation. And now it's like, I mean, I'm not sure if you can see this. It's very leisure. Not that many people. And it's very calm. So anyway, even these guys are noticing that there aren't that many people. That it's kind of a ghost town. <sighs> what could cause this? Who knows? Maybe it was, I don't know, real Star Wars fans being pissed at Ka Kathleen Kennedy, Ryan Johnson. Not liking where Disney is taking this franchise. Lord knows, like, <laughs> that movie officially killed it for me. But it's just funny to to watch, watch how in disarray Disney is about this, about what's been going on uh, the past couple weeks in their parks. You've had the Disney <laughs> Disneyland fight. This month, this is all this month. I mean, this is just this is world star level ignorance. They brought it to Disneyland of all places. Wow. Oh, oh, snap. Oh. World star. And they just left the baby. They just, he said. Look, just just take my take my kid. Oh, and now they're throwing hands. People should be all happy, and now they're all aggravated. Where was Disneyland security? Hmm. I guess it shows the world that they can't even take care of their own parks. <laughs> oh man, this is just me, Coast, just laugh, having a good laugh, a hearty laugh at uh, some of the karma that's been coming Disney's way. Uh, this got a ton of press. This went absolutely viral, uh, and it's a bad look for them. I mean, hey. I'm not exactly wishing for the downfall of, of Disney um, as a company, just that they would at least do better. I mean, <sighs> handle themselves better with more class. Anyway, uh, it's Super Coast. I've got some more uh, videos coming, um, and I've got some more shills to come out to uh, come out and expose. Um, Oh, and I nearly forgot about this one. Now, this one isn't at Disneyland. This is at Disney World, which I have been to at the Epcot area. Um, and I remember hearing briefly about this story because, you know, Disney doesn't want that bad PR. Heard about it ever so briefly. Almost slipped out, almost slipped down the memory hole. Almost. But thankfully, these articles are still up. <laughs> Um, about a rabies epidemic at Disney World. Oh, apparently, 
uh, a lot of the animals, um, Mickey Mouse been giving all these animals near, near Disney World rabies. <laughs> oh my god. Uh, wait, hold on. Let me just show you this article. Uh, USA Today. Rabies alert issued for Disney World's Epcot area after infected cat scratches employees. What? <laughs> The flo the flo this has just been a bad couple of weeks. The Florida Department of Health in Orange County has issued a 60-day rabies warning at Walt Disney World Resort in response to reports a rabid cat had been found in the area. <laughs> Mickey Mouse giving cats rabies. <laughs> oh man. Uh Wait, hold on, hold on, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> the alert announced Tuesday is cover covers the two mile radius of the intersection of Interstate Four and Epcot Center Drive, which includes Disney's S Epcot Center theme park. Disney World spokeswoman Erica Ettore told USA Today two cast members were scratched by the lab confirmed rabid cat, but did not contract the virus. Yo, they are very blessed and very lucky. <laughs> We are relieved the two cast members received timely treatment and are back to work. In its statement, the Florida DOH asked <clears throat> the public to maintain a heightened awareness of that rabies is active in this area of southwest Orange County. Dang, yo. Because the cat may have spread rabies to other animals, the department advised people in the affected area Avoid stray cats and dogs, as well as wildlife such as raccoons, bats, foxes, skunks, otters, bobcats, and coyotes. Wow. Their statement also instructed anyone who comes in contact with those animals to seek immediate medical attention. And blah, blah, blah. It also urged pet owners to vaccinate their animals if they had not done so already. Wow. According to the CDC, rabies is a fatal but preventable viral disease. Yeah, blah, blah, blah. Um, yeah, we know all that. Wow. This has just been, uh, this has just been a terrible uh, month of bad PR for Disney, man. I mean, it's just... One thing after another. I think they they bounce back a little bit with the announcement of Marvel Phase Four, but I'm not I'm not seeing that. I I'm I'm I don't know. They, they've gone woke. Oh yeah, another thing. They've gone. They're probably going to make a woke Thor now, female Thor, uh, and it's probably going to have some LGBT propaganda in it. Um, let's see and. I'm kind of excited for the new Blade. Um, that's the only thing I'm really kind of excited for from them, from Disney Marvel. Um, but I haven't liked the way they've been treating Spider-Man or the Hulk uh, or even the X-Men. I mean, but, you know, they're going to start releasing uh, the X-Men movies. Uh, I, I mean, yeah, new X-Men movies. Why not? So... <clears throat> I mean, I don't know. Uh, I, I don't know. I've, ar I've already made my feelings known about how they treat some of their main characters, about the Hulk and Spider-Man. But um, so far, uh, just hasn't been a great, great couple weeks for Disney. You know, poor multi-billion dollar corporation. <laughs> <laughs> Poor you. Um, yeah, anyway. Uh, it's your boy, Coast. Uh, just having a hearty laugh at their expense. Alright. Uh, stay blessed. I got some more videos coming for y'all. Don't sleep. I'm about to expose these shows even more. Alright. Peace.